Hey everyone, I'm Catherine with Free Tours by Foot. The holidays are finally here and that means that New York looks extra beautiful right now. So this evening I'm going to be going on a walk and taking you to see some of the very best decorations in Manhattan. So let's go ahead and get started. We start off with the stars displayed in the shops at Columbus Circle before heading across the street for a walk through the Columbus Circle Holiday Market. We then head over to the Plaza Hotel, which is the starting point of our walk down Fifth Avenue and its many decorated storefronts, including Saks Fifth Avenue where we will watch its beautiful light show. Next, we make a stop to see the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree and its famous ice skating rink before taking in the unappreciated lights on 6th Avenue. And in the last stretch, we will take a walk through the Bryant Park Winter Market before ending our tour with a walk past the Macy's storefront displays. This video is an abridged version of our live guided New York City holiday lights and decorations tour, which you should definitely take in if you are here in New York during the December holidays. A link to this tour is in the description below. Now, let's get started. So this is Columbus Circle. You can see the actual circle itself right here. Columbus Circle keeps it pretty simple with the decorations. We just have these lights in the trees. It is simple, but it's very effective. It's very pretty. It looks twinkly and sparkly and festive, and I love it. Um, so Columbus Circle is also home to the Columbus Circle Holiday Market, which we will go see, but First, uh, I want to take you in because this is also home to the Deutsche Bank Center, which is right here. And they do the same decoration every year, but it's one of my favorites. I love it. I and mean, it's these beautiful lit stars hanging from the ceilings. So these are the stars here that they hang every year. And if you stay for a little bit and actually watch them, they change colors frequently. Um, they have music playing in here. It's just really beautiful. Columbus Circle is also home to the Columbus Circle Holiday Market, which is on the park side of Columbus Circle. So this is really also right at the southwest entrance to Central Park. So as far as the holiday markets go in New York City, we actually have a lot of these open air holiday markets. Columbus Circle is the smallest of them, but still well worth a visit. We'll take a quick walk through so you can get an idea but just so you know we also have a video that is all a walk through Columbus Circle Holiday Market much more in depth than what I'm going to do this evening so make sure you check that out if it's something you want to see if you want to have a better idea of what kinds of things they would offer here at the market but all of these holiday markets in New York City are well worth visiting they're all a little bit different. You'll find some similar vendors from market to market, but um, every single one of them has a few vendors that are just unique to that market. It's a fun thing to do on a beautiful evening in December. Get lots of people out. They're beautifully decorated. It feels very festive. Most of them have some good food options. Um, even a small market like this one has some good food options. Definitely some places to get a hot drink. You can get a hot chocolate. You can get an apple cider at a place like that one. So worth checking out. Also wanted to mention Columbus Circle right here is where you can meet us for our Christmas movie tour that we offer at this time of year with free tours by foot. If you love Christmas movies, if you love Home Alone 2, Elf, um, definitely consider taking that tour and you're gonna meet right there in the middle of the circle. So this is the world famous plaza. Um, so this is actually the side. I'm still on the Central Park South side of the plaza. You can see some of their lights up, but I will head around towards the other side of the plaza, the actual front side. But I wanted you to get to see 
some of their reeds and things that they have up out on this side. The Plaza Hotel some years ago was actually converted um, partially into private residences. So that's what that side entrance is for, is for the residents rather than hotel guests. But there are still hotel guests. And even though we have some scaffolding up, they still have beautiful decorations. These beautiful wreaths outside the plaza. And some nice lights here at the front entrance. There's a look at the front door and see if we can't take a quick peek inside. Oh, it's so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that this is the hotel that Kevin McAllister stayed at in Home Alone 2. And this too is a stop on our Central Park Christmas movies tour. Right over here, what we have going on, this is the world's largest menorah right here across from the Plaza Hotel. And we have a performance going on, so I'll see if I can't get you a better look for a minute. So right here, right by this menorah, we also have the Pulitzer Fountain. So this is the actual fountain itself. The water is obviously turned off for the year. Um, so at this time of year, they always decorate it beautifully, but it's different every year. I really, really love what they've done with it this year. Um, they have all these penguins and seals and polar bears, and I just think it's really, really fun. So right here, leaving behind the beautiful Pulitzer Fountain. I really do so love what they've done this year. Um, now, we're gonna start getting into Fifth Avenue. Um, if you are here at this time of year, I have to say, I think walking down Fifth Avenue is just something you absolutely must experience because it's so beautiful and it's so decorated. All of the windows. Now, some of the department stores go with the really, really elaborate window displays, including Bergdorf Goodman. Oh, I love this one. This has this roller coaster in the background. The, uh, you must be this tall to ride. I love this. Theirs are always so colorful and so elaborate. I love this one. It has all these cats in it. Oh, more animals here. This one's dogs. We had cats, now we have dogs. This one with all this beautiful candy cane striping. And the music, you have this great microphone over here Bergdorf's windows aren't always necessarily really overtly like holiday or Christmassy themed but they are always really gorgeous and really really elaborate you can tell a lot of care has gone into the design this one with these fabulous tropical birds and this great jeweled motorcycle and all of these fish. I have to say Bergdorf's has beautiful, beautiful windows every year, but those are particularly stunning. So right across the street, you can see at Louis Vuitton, they don't do like the really traditional lights or wreaths or anything like that. They just have this uh, kind of neon light show going on a loop. And they have this Christmas tree look going up their building. But all up and down Fifth Avenue, not just in the shop windows, but on the streets itself, there's actual street decorations like these right here. We'll see a lot more of those as we do this walk. Oh, over there at Armani, they have some crazy lights show going as well. They kind of went the same route with the, the neon lights and you've got more of the trees over there. Street decorations. This is what I mean. You have some of these trees, but you also have 
a lot more decorations like this and some of them are really quite interactive. You can sit in this hot air balloon made of lights and take your picture. Um, this is actually a relatively recent addition to Fifth Avenue at this time of year. And I think it's really fun and really beautiful. You have these presents here. Got people taking their pictures. I think this dog is ready to take his picture. That's gonna be a good one. But coming up here is the Peninsula Hotel. Beautiful old hotel. But they always have such beautiful decorations outside. I'm actually gonna pop just down the side street for a moment just to show you the outside. So they've got the red and green going all the way up. And then they have these reindeer right there. And of course the constant soundtrack of Midtown Manhattan car horns. Um, right across the street is Harry Winston. And they have their beautiful lights and garland up. So we'll try to give you a look inside these windows. This is the beautiful university club in there. You can see yeah. their Christmas tree and their wreaths and they're just absolutely gorgeous interior. I always love looking in the windows of this building. I've never been inside, but that is the university club. So right across the street, coach has their lights up. Just a nice simple sheet of lights. So there's the bear right there. And so here's a sign about it. So all up and down Fifth Avenue, you've got this holiday sculpture trail. You have musicians. Nothing will get you in a holiday mood quite like walking down Fifth Avenue in December. More of these beautiful trees. So if you're enjoying the tour so far, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps others discover the video. If you'd like to see more like this one, subscribe to our channel. We have walks across the Brooklyn Bridge, through Harlem, Central Park, all over New York. Visit our website for more about our tours, our travel tips, and more. We also have virtual tours and channels that focus on Washington, D.C., New Orleans, London, and more. Look for free tours by foot wherever you travel. You can support your guide with virtual tips. Links in the description. And let us know what else you want to see. Leave a comment below. Now, back to the tour. And coming up ahead, you can already see it up ahead to the left. This is very striking. Um, that building that looks like a giant wrapped package is Cartier. And this is really interesting to see because actually Cartier's decorations have been the same on their building for as long as I can remember. It was a similar design. It's always, always had the design of making the building look like a giant wrapped package. Um, but in years past, the effect of that was done by only doing a bow wrapping, um, not the big sheet of lights as well. But this is really beautiful. It's, it's fun to see something different. It's been the same for so many years. We'll cross over for a minute because this one is, you can't get a better souvenir picture than this. A, a lit with Christmas lights, yellow New York City taxi cab. <laughs> so you got to come find this one if you come and visit because I love this. This makes a great picture. This one is at 51st Street in Fifth Avenue. It's actually right across from St. Patrick's Cathedral. So here are the Saks Fifth Avenue windows. Oh, this is nice. So it looks like the theme is Dreaming of a sweet holiday at home. This is kind of like, looks like Candyland. It's like the game Candyland. Dreaming of a holiday under the rainbow is what this one says. It's about this strawberry. This one is <laughs> Dreaming of Holiday Gaming. It's all gaming themed. 
And so look, they actually got these from some young artists, Eloise, age nine, George, age six, looks like where they took some of these designs. That's a really fun idea. Looks like all of these actually were inspired by children's drawings. So this is, is Dreaming of a Holiday at the Beach. Dreaming of a Holiday Carnival. All of the different dreams for the holidays taken from young children. These ones were six and seven. This is a better look at the carnival with its moving pieces. This is Dreaming of a Holiday Playland. So the tradition of the Rockefeller Center tree actually goes back to 1931. It goes back to when Rockefeller Center was being built. Um, the workers who were building, constructing Rockefeller Center actually yeah. got together 
uh, on Christmas Eve and they bought a Christmas tree and they decorated it together. Um, that's actually how the tradition of the Rockefeller tree was born. The trees have gotten much, much bigger. I don't think theirs was quite this large. Um, but the selection process for the Rockefeller tree is a pretty intensive one. They actually have taken trees from all over. This year's tree comes from Maryland. I believe that this is the first Rockefeller Center tree to come from Maryland. I think this one is a Norway spruce. Um, and it is a really beautiful one, 79 feet tall. The star topper on the very top is uh, made of Swarovski crystal. It's actually pretty massive and very, very heavy, but very beautiful. This little area here directly in front of Saks going into Rockefeller Center is called the Channel Gardens. This is water feature and everything is out all year. Of course, the, the angels and the decorations are temporary just for this time of year. Rockefeller Center is one of the many places you can go ice skating and a lot of people like to do it at least once. It's kind of the iconic rink. Um, fair warning, it is the most expensive rink in New York City, I believe, for ice skating and it can be quite crowded, but I would say it's a great, great item to put on your list and try one time. So the straight on view of the tree from the Channel Gardens right across from Saks is by far the best view. It's really pretty stunning, pretty spectacular, but it can be extremely crowded and you're not quite as close to the tree. So I just wanted to give you a tip that actually if you come onto one of the side streets around the side of the tree, um, you can actually get quite a bit of a closer view. Other reason, oh, I love this guy in his Saks, or his FAO Schwartz soldier outfit. This is FAO Schwartz right here. FAO Schwartz is a legendary toy store in New York City. This is not the original FAO Schwartz. The original FAO Schwartz was actually uh, right up across the street from the Pulitzer Fountain where we were earlier. Um, but it closed down, that location closed down. Fortunately, they were able to resurrect FAO Schwartz because it wouldn't be New York without FAO Schwartz. And now it is located here at Rockefeller Center. You can see their nutcrackers, little glimpse into the inside. If you are traveling with kids or you just consider yourself young at heart, you have to make a stop into FAO Schwartz. Absolutely worth it. It's so right here at 49th and 6th. You have this beautiful lit plaza. You have this great decoration that's here every year. This giant pile, Christmas ornaments. Right across the street is Radio City Music Hall. Radio City Music Hall is the home of the legendary Radio City Christmas Spectacular, home of the Radio City Rockettes. Definitely something to consider going to check out. So something you'll notice if you're here at this time of year, uh, Salvation Army workers do not just stand there and ring a bell. They tend to be very theatrical. They'll often be dancing or singing while asking for donations. So you can walk around and get a free show. All right. So walking down 6th Avenue, got another couple Christmas trees up here on the right. Um, so like I said, uh, it's worth the quick walk over here from Rockefeller Center if you're already there seeing the tree. Worth coming over here to 6th. This is Bryant Park right here at West 42nd Street. 
Bryant Park, I think, is another kind of must do at this time of year just because there's so much here. Um, there is an entire winter village here in Bryant Park. I know we saw Columbus Circle Holiday Market, which is really quite small. Bryant Park, like I said, is an entire village set up at this time of year. There is so much to see. So I highly, highly, highly recommend coming to Bryant Park, doing a little shopping, definitely checking out the food because the food selection here is absolutely amazing. If you're interested in finding out more about the Bryant Park Holiday Market and Winter Village, um, Lori and I actually just did an entire video just on that. So make sure you check that out. This is the beautiful main branch of the New York Public Library. This is actually just right on the back side, the Fifth Avenue side of Bryant Park. Now the library doesn't do as much in the way of decoration. Certainly nothing is elaborate, but I really love theirs. Every year, it's the only thing they do outside. Our lions get these fabulous wreath necklaces. That one is Patience and fortitude our other lion so they don't go over the top with decorations but i still love them you should come here and visit the lions the library itself is so worth a visit anyway because it's an absolutely spectacular building and i'm also showing it to you because this is the meeting point the starting point for our holiday lights tours with free tours by foot which is a really fantastic tour actually a lot of the things we've seen are on our holiday lights tour so if you want to come see it in person definitely consider taking that tour and you will meet right here okay and this is the world famous macy's department store hard to even get all of macy's in one shot because it is i believe still the largest department store in the world it is an entire city block and even though everybody in new york gets very into decorating the holidays as far as businesses. Nobody does it quite like Macy's. And of course, Macy's actually kicks off the holidays in New York with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. That is kind of the official start to the holiday season here. Sponsored by Macy's, finishes down here at Herald Square. There's a nice shot of the front of the store. You can see the words believe on the outside. That is always there keyword their motto at this time of year is believe now macy's like all of the department stores changes their windows every year um, the plans for the next year's windows really start as soon as the previous years come down um, so there's a lot of planning that goes into this a lot of people that take part in it um, and macy's one of the things i love about macy's windows is there's always a story it's not just decorations there's always a story and a lot of stories go with a theme like at Saks Fifth Avenue they had the uh, windows inspired by children's drawings Macy's always goes with a story so this year the story is about this adorable little blue reindeer deer named Tiptoe and Tiptoe the reindeer it needs to learn how to fly so she can be on Santa's team she's having some problems with her flying confidence and so the windows this year are the story of Tiptoe and how she makes it in time for Christmas. So there's Tiptoe. Macy's windows in particular, I think are always ones a little more geared towards something small children might like. They're usually, it's a lot of animatronics. There's usually a lot of blinking lights. So this is Tiptoe at flight school, learning how to fly with that very elaborate diagram figure one figure two apparently that's all there is to it in learning to fly but there's tiptoe in class and this is tiptoe with her friends who are helping her build her confidence they're telling her you are great and she's studying up penguin and a polar bear so if you're here at macy's just so you know the story will always go from left to right in the front of the store so here tiptoe's friends have built her a flying machine so she can have a little bit of assistance while she learns how to fly. 
you get a chance, if you're not going to make it to Macy's this year, you can still enjoy this story. They actually made uh, a few little short films about the story of Tiptoe. They actually aired uh, one of them right during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and it was very, very cute. Um, there's Tiptoe flying. She's doing it. Oh, and there's the Macy's Holiday logo, Believe, held up by all of these little creatures. And then here is Tiptoe, a member of Santa's team now. She's wearing her little saddle that also says Believe. And all ends well for Christmas. Oh, but you can see actually, if you look in, Tiptoe is flying over New York City. If you look in there, it says world's largest store. That's Macy's and you can see the Empire State Building. So Tiptoe definitely made a point to visit New York. And there she is with a big smile on her face. A lot of the attention at Macy's goes to the windows and rightfully so, but if you come here, don't miss taking a look inside because the indoor decorations are pretty spectacular as well. Very beautiful. I think my favorite are these little squirrels with their fabulous feather tails. So definitely take a minute to come inside Macy's as well. And of course, you'll have to come in here if you want to visit Santa Land, Macy's Santa Land. And if you have seen the film Miracle on 34th Street, you know that the Macy's Santa is the real Santa. So definitely come and check out Santa Land. So if you come here, don't miss on the 34th Street side, they actually have this whole interactive setup. You can press these pedals here on the ground and you can play this game. And they've been showing on this screen some of the tiptoe clips. There's tiptoe right there. She's building a snowman. So definitely uh, make sure you don't miss the 34th Street side. A lot of people do and you would miss getting to do the kind of interactive part of it and see a little bit more. Plus they have these lovely decorations along the outside as well. So absolutely worth coming here to the 34th street side of Macy's. I loved getting to see all of the lights this year. I hope that you did too. Um, we hope that this helps bring a little bit of holiday cheer into your day. Like I said earlier, most of the things that we saw this evening are a part of our holiday lights tour at Free Tours by Foot. So by all means, if you're going to be in New York, come and join us, come and see this stuff in person. Consider any of our holiday tours to see a lot of decorations and spots. We have a Christmas movie tour. We have our holiday lights tour. We have a Diker Heights lights tour. There's a lot of options and if you're not able able to join us this year, then we're glad that we could bring these decorations to you and we hope that you enjoyed it. Please, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more content coming your way. So ring that bell. You'll get notifications every time we release new content. And we do have a lot of holiday specific videos coming your way very, very shortly. So thanks so much for joining us. Have a happy holiday and we'll see you next time.